वेलकम टू इंग्लिश ग्रामर चैप्टर ट्वेल्व द कॉम्प्लीमेंट अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज अ वर्ड अ फ्रेज एंड अ क्लास दैट इज नेसेसरी टू कंप्लीट द मीनिंग ऑफ अ सेंटेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई रीड टिल ईज दिस ईज डू यू थिंक इट मेक्स अ कंप्लीट सेंस नो इट इज अ मीनिंग लेस सेंटेंस टू मेक इट मीनिंगफुल वी हैव टू एड सर्टेन वर्ड्स this is what he said so when i add this clause to this is it becomes meaningful so what he said is a compliment here and it is a clause a compliment can be a subject or an object so first learn about subject compliment a subject compliment follows a linking verb it always describes a subject or gives it another name for example i am a teacher now here teacher is actually renaming the subject i the weather is perfect for a picnic now perfect for a picnic is a phrase which is actually describing the weather the subject complement may be a noun or a pronoun for example saturn is a planet now a planet it's a noun poonam is an architect again a noun now look at these sentences this is arun this is he now he is the pronoun it was he who gave me this book since the pronoun actually renames the subject it should be in the same form as it would have been as a subject he is a doctor the doctor is he a predicative adjective that describes a subject the children were hungry so who are hungry children this coffee tastes excellent now it can also be a participle we are studying what complement complement can be in the form of a noun it can be in the form of a predicative adjective now even it can be in the form of a participle mother seemed agitated now in participle either it will be ed or ing so this looks amazing here ing participle is there and in agitated ed participle is used it can be an infinitive you know infinitive means two plus verb the children appear to shudder manu's aim is to succeed a group of words doing the work of an adjective the second hand car was in an excellent condition now here an excellent condition is a phrase which is actually describing so it's an adjective an adverb or an adverbial he is at the gate again it's a phrase at the gate so this is you can call it as an adverb or even you can call it as adverbial a noun clause Neha's problem is that she will not listen. Children, a uh, phrase and clause both a group of words, but in a clause you will always find a finite verb. Now here that she will not listen is a clause. Now here you can see the verb will listen. Okay, whereas in a phrase you will never find any finite verb. If there is finite verb, then that is a clause. now let's do exercise 1 underline the subject complement and write what kind it is now karthik seemed rather upset so rather upset is a subject complement and it is actually an adjective that describes a subject it is talking about karthik so it is an adjective that describes the subject om is a kind hearted soul kind hearted soul is a subject complement and it is an adjective that describes a subject geeta's fear is that she will have a terrible journey now that she will have a terrible journey is a noun clause that captain of the team is in the field now in the field is a subject complement and it is an adverb why are you always so late always so late is a subject complement and it is an adverb his anger is justified so 
the subject complement is justified and it is a participle. On hearing the good news, I felt lighter than air. Now, lighter than air is a subject complement and it is an adjective that describes the subject. His courage and determination are inspiring. Inspiring, ing one and it's a participle. Mansi always seems to be afraid. To be afraid, it is an infinitive. It appears that we were wrong. That we were wrong is a noun clause. Exercise 2. Complete the following sentences with appropriate subject complements. Children, even if you want, you can make your own uh, sentences. Like Radha is, it is there. Now, I have written a good girl. Even if you want, you can write uh, is a good singer, is a good dancer, is good in studies. Okay, so uh, these are complete the following sentences. So if you want, you can make your own. But it should be sensible enough. Manoj became angry over his neighbor. The old man appeared to be my relative. Clouds appeared and the sky grew dark. As the teacher scolded Prerna, she seemed to be upset. My hobby is singing. The new house looked awesome. Tony hasn't turned up yet. I'm growing my plant. After she won the first prize, Anu appeared very excited. The traffic in Mumbai is too much. Now let's learn object complement. Look at these sentences. The man rang the bell. Educate exercise keeps one healthy. The verbs in these two sentences are rang and keeps. And they are transitive verb. Transitive verb always have an object always and it answers the question what or whom and immediately after the verb you have to ask that question what for example the man rang what the bell so they require an object each to complete their meaning okay so uh, what are, what are compliments compliments are the noun phrase or a clause which is required to complete the sentence. Now here, what is a transitive verb? It requires an object to complete their meaning. And mostly objects are noun. In the first sentence, the verb rank takes the object, the bell, to complete its predicate. In the second sentence, the verb keeps takes the object one. However, the meaning of the sentence still remains incomplete. We want to know how exercise keeps one and we receive the answer with the word healthy. The word healthy which completes the meaning of the sentence is its complements. And since it speaks about the object, we call it the object complement. An object complement may be an adjective that describes the object. For example, grandmother kept the children happy. A noun that remains the object. The council appointed Janya secretary. A participial adjective. Whenever you have ed or ing, we call it as participial adjective because they are actually describing. So they act as adjective her dance performance held the audience enraptured we found the play boring an infinitive phrase we considered him to be intelligent sumit believed his friend to be helpful a noun phrase or a participial phrase mother found the books hidden under the clothes in each sentence, identify the object and its complement and write what kind it is. Geeta called her boss a monster. Now, boss is the object and it is actually a monster that is noun. So, a, a noun, a monster is actually the complement to this sentence. The board found the plan excellent. The plan is 
object and excellent is the complement which is adjective. Soil erosion has made the hills barren. The hills object and barren is the adjective. The team elected Raghav captain. Raghav is the object and captain is the noun. Through the summer holidays, our books kept us company. Us is object and company is noun. We saw him climb the wall. Him is object and climb the wall is noun phrase. Dad often found us swimming in the pond. Us is object. Swimming in the pond is noun phrase. The new game has kept Neeti totally engrossed. Neeti is object and totally engrossed is participial adjective. Our coach made us realize our potential. Us is object. Realize our potential is noun phrase. The chief guest kept everybody waiting. Everybody is object. Waiting is participial adjective. Now, exercise 4 and 5 is your homework. What is it? Write your own sentences containing subject complement. That means uh, using the following linking verbs. Okay. These are the linking verbs. We are in the park he grew angry she becomes angry for silly things okay like that you make the sentences write your own sentences containing object complements using the following verbs so object complement also you will make sentences using these verbs so write exercise one three four and five in notebook and write exercise two in textbook Thank you and may God bless you.